Have you ever used a rubber duck to help land a spacecraft? Well, let me explain. Comets are some of the oldest objects in space, and they don't change much over billions of years. So knowing more about them could help us to unlock the history of the solar system. This is the Rosetta probe, a European Space Agency mission that studied the comet Churyumov-Gerasimenko, or 67P. Part of this mission involved deploying its lander, Philae, onto the surface to explore and run experiments. It would be the first time any spacecraft had orbited or indeed landed on a comet. Launching in March 2004, Rosetta first took several years to do flybys of Earth, Mars and a couple of asteroids, and in doing so travelled 6.4 billion kilometres by the time it reached 67P, 10 years later. The next challenge was landing Philae safely on the surface, made difficult by the comet's low gravitational pull. This means it could bounce off and drift away into space, so it's fitted with harpoons that would fire in order to attach it to the comet's surface on touchdown. Have you noticed 67P looks like a duck? We had no idea it was shaped like this until Rosetta first approached and sent back photographs. The Open University Ptolemy team were one of the groups involved in choosing the best landing site for Philae, and they had the great idea to use this rubber duck as a tool to help visualise where the different options were on the comet. By the way, they picked Site J on the head of the duck. The landing was not without drama, as the harpoons failed to deploy, causing Philae to bounce off into the shadows. It would have been a tense wait for the control centre back on Earth, with the descent alone taking seven hours, followed by a further two as they watched Philae bounce, even bumping into a cliff edge, before finally coming to rest. The lack of light at its final touchdown site meant that, after three days of collecting all the data and images it could, the solar-powered lander had to hibernate to conserve its battery. Its precise location would not be known until almost two years later, when Rosetta's high-res camera was able to pick up Philae wedged in a dark crack of the comet. This location was vital for scientists because they could finally pinpoint exactly where the data collected had actually come from. The Ptolemy team were named after the instrument they developed, a wealth of gas chromatography and mass spectrometry equipment condensed down to the size of a shoebox so it could fit amongst many other packages all squeezed carefully into the lander. This instrumentation identifies the individual substance substances in a sample, telling us exactly what the comet is made of. Scientists have debated whether water and organic molecules needed for life on our planet could have been brought here by asteroids and comets colliding with Earth. With Ptolemy on board Philae, it was able to sniff the comet, even sniffing its gas and dust mid-bounce. It detected chemicals like water vapour, carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide and other organic compounds like formaldehyde. All of these needed to synthesise amino acids, sugars and nuclear bases the basic ingredients for life. Explore our collections online and visit our new space gallery to discover more incredible objects in person.